And what's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create wall collisions for Scratch. So as you can see, we have Scratch Cat right here. And now we want to pretty much create the wall. So for the tutorial, I am going to make a basic wall. So we want to go ahead and say in the cat sprite, when green flag clicked, forever if key right or is press then we want to say change our x by 10 so here's the trick um the trick is pretty much we'll say if um where's the if statements there we go we have the if statement and then you can you have two op options you can say color or you can have your sprite if you want like the sprite to be like a full level but you want to have like walls you want to co collide with then i recommend this one but if you have like basically walls in the background then i recommend using this one but i normally use this one for my games and I use this one and then you also want to choose the wall and then you want to say change your X by negative um, 5 you're gonna ask me why negative 5 so if you now test it you actually pretty much have wall collisions so how does this work the work how it, do, it works is like when each time you touch the wall it's thinking okay now i'm touching the wall then i go five steps out then when you click on it again you will go back to inside the wall and it'll change x by five again so you want to go ahead and do it for the left arrow and this is now it's going to be easy so for the left arrow you want to say you actually pretty much just have to switch off these blocks. The reason why is you're just pretty much taking some pixels out of the place. So we pretty much have some one script pretty much away. So here we just have to click on the green flag again. And why is it not working? Because we didn't change it to a left arrow or something. So there we go. We have wall collisions for our right arrow, but now we really just want to create a wall. I can duplicate it by control C and V, but just for the sake that I am just going to do it fast. So there we go. Let's create some walls. So the cat is like really big, so we cannot move around in the level. So we have to set the size to like 50 percent there we go we pretty much have a little maze we can go around in with <laughs> but as you can see there is a lot, little space between that but that's not going to affect the gameplay so if we, now we just want to create the wall collision for the up and down and this is how you do it you pretty much duplicate from the top and then you want to switch the keys first there we go and then you don't want, then you will take these out. Actually, not this thing. So, the pretty much this, um, basically, we are just going into the wall, taking five pixels away, going, moving five pixels, we touch the wall, and then go negative five pixels. So, now we just pretty much want to code the, the, the up arrow, down arrow, so we just want to say change our X y by 10 i mean or 5 or what you ever you want and then we just pretty much duplicate this drag it into here duplicate the negative and drag it into here so if it's a positive number then in this part of the code you want to have it a negative number so now if we try it out oops and do that yeah, there we go. We pretty much have our pretty cool script on 
we can w move around like a normal game. Like on Scratch, if you like, you can add some gravity, and then you have pretty much a platformer, <laughs> I guess. Like, really, this is a pretty easy way to create wall collisions for your games. And yeah, this is pretty easy for you now. You want to create like a platformer or some other game like that way. And yeah, that's how you create a basic wall collision script, but it's not the complex, the wall collision scripts, you can say, yeah, so that is pretty much for this tutorial, it was like, five minutes long, so yeah, see you guys next tutorial, bye.